What's up, what's up, what's up, people? So, uh, KPA versus uh, Cospian. So, um, yesterday, we're just gonna do this watch along today because I feel like today is actually a much more competitive game. Sorry, I'll be late a bit. I was watching the game live on YouTube. But this is much a much more competitive game. The dance partner today is actually um, not bad, actually pretty good, and um, hopefully you can be able to like see a lot and be able to like get a lot from this game because man, the entertainment value last in yesterday's game, last game was just was just I watched it. I watched. Just share the screen there. Game there. Well, I'm back. Sorry for that. Intro, that you know, technical hits. Just setting it up really quick, and uh, we're good. So KP have just come out of the gate and they're just dominating this game. So I mean it's just it's just much more exciting than yesterday's game. 
we had four players scoring 10 points or more and it's been it's been a great great it was a great game yesterday for kp but for the other team it was just a, an abysmal performance but you can see from the score line you can you see like the game was actually pretty close start of the second and uh we're kicking off kpa 23 cost pn 14. just going through it i feel like uh yes i feel like the group that kpi in there it's not like the try the strongest group and getting all getting the all the wins that they require to move on to the next won't be a hard task. One thing I saw like offensively was like no no much communication on offense and they're just playing like freestyle basketball in there. For three, nah. And some of their shots just need to go in. Those shots don't go in. It's it's just um it's just it. Right. So Cospi on an offense, KP on defense, ball just swinging around, no good from three. We'll try to try to the guy playing from Cospi and trying to recover it, but not happening. I don't know why, like um, the road to BL, there is no live commentary. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what people are doing and BL are doing. They're not fixing the commentary situation. The game just playing along. We're not hearing anything from the commentators. But man, it's just crazy. You Joe on top of the key. Well, offensively, I'm not sure what KP are doing because the ball is just swinging. There's no off ball movement that much just seeing lazy screens being set you see a bad finger bad shots but i'm actually more afraid because if kpa meet like a top-sided team it's it's gonna be it's gonna be very brutal for them because it's if they're not able to fix those things they don't work on those things creating the night the good good shot creating good shots and good shot selection they're really gonna struggle okay they can shine and be able to like um uh, take down these teams easily, but when you may when you match up against like a team that can be able to upset your power, that's when it'll be tested. So I'm just waiting for that. I'm just waiting for to see what KP are going to do when they meet a top team, especially when they get to the BL, they're gonna meet a ton of those. So um they'll have to wait and see. But this game is just gonna be KPA's to win. Hopefully the scores doesn't that don't go don't become outrageous like yesterday's, but this team is just playing good defense. See a turnover there, and the other team is just finding the open guy. Tough three, no good. Buffing up bad shots. I think both teams are just buffing up bad shots. No, both teams are buffing up bad shots, but. Look in there, uh, it's a foul. Why did he have to foul? It was not necessary to foul. He didn't have to foul. He didn't have to. Timeout call. Three minutes played. The score is still the same. No team has scored yet. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully, can go to like, um, Get KP a bit, um, they can be able to at least do something in there. Yeah, I could just check on the stats. KPA, they have not made a single, they have made, uh, they have made a couple of threes, 27% from deep, 
30% from two-point field goals, 28% from the field, not the greatest. They have seven turnovers, three, oh my God, three assists, six steals. I mean, oh my God, the seven turnovers, seven fouls, not good. At least there have been three lead changes and all of them happened in the first quarter, but they have, both teams have started the second quarter off on a on a very low note like not like the not the, like the usual scoring that you're used to but just depends on the flow of the game guy use your suspects only a ken washira six points tony three points eugene three he only made that single shot like me wade four minutes four point nine minutes play four points you see, um, Okal, he scored like 24 points in the previous game yesterday, the easy game, but uh, he's only made one point. Yeah. And it's from the, it's from the line. He, missed, he only has one field goal that he missed. Not sure, not, not sure his performance today, but let's just wait and see. And the offense is just, it's, it's, it's just in shambles. What are what are these guys doing? I mean, both teams they have not yet scored in four minutes. It's just slumpy play. Poor shots. The rebound. KP can't convert. They're just you know pushing the ball ahead. There's no like method towards it. There's no method to it, and I feel like that's one of the Achilles' heels. Despite all the talent that they have. That's just going to be an Achilles heel at this point. Talent that they have. That's just going to be a... And KP still yet to score. KP not yet, no score yet. So I can right there. It's a foul. Who's it on? I believe it's KP's ball, yeah. Out of bounds play. And the ball stolen away. And ah denied by the rim. That would be a, that would have been a very good one handed jam, but oh man, the best defender was the rim at the time. Nobody could be able to get that ball at the time but the rim. And the ball was that pocket pass wasn't easy. It was too tight, causing a turnover. Those turnovers are just increasing. Man, I just take care of the basketball. Out of bounds. Turnover on the other other side. It's still a seven point game. Yeah, seven point game, man. I mean, you Joe in there. The ball is just, there's no off ball movement that is adequate. Like, both players are just shuffling their feet and just moving. Just need to find a way. It's a turnover. Oh, man. It's a turnover. Keep here. Just turning over the ball. Round robin day day three. Not sure why KP weren't able to play like their game on Friday. Just showed it. I just the schedule. I just saw the schedule just change. And the so ball poked away. Ujo has it. They're just pressing. Going off for the three. No good. Rebound on the other end. Both teams just pressing. This should be a wide open dunk, a layup, and the layup is made, and the lead is cut. So it's a five point game. Manufacturing, like, did he, Keith, you just need to manufacture a good shot for three again? No good. 
Rebound tipped. Keep you still have the ball. Corner three for you, Joe. And uh, misses it by a mile. These these passes are just, I mean, they're just haphazard. Missed again. Short on the other side. Transition points on the other side. No good. And rebound on the other side and um, cut the lead. Nice, no, a three-point game. I mean, KFA just being exposed, on, like, well, how they've been playing, especially here. You see, why is Carl getting the ball at the perimeter? He should be playing on the post. He should be playing on the post, but, you know, buffing up a bad shot again. That was tight, indeed tight. On the other side, easy full core pass layup. This game is decided, it's only like three point spread. And that that uh, bucket that we, they keep inside got like below the rim. It was just erased by that full court, like that half court pass that made it in. And mid range shot, KPA missed it. That will be. I don't know what these guys are doing. I just play like freestyle. Just freestyle. That's supposed to be the goaltend, but the rest didn't call it. My God, what is going on here? We just we just dropped the links so like for can like join up. Man, it's just been um, it's been a crazy second so started off slow. So pretty slow, but I mean those shots KP are getting like yesterday. I mean they're not getting them today. And it's amazing how they've been held by to 20, 25 points and that this other team, Cospian, is just playing some very good defense. That good defense is the deciding that's the, that's what has made like the score be like this it's a turnover ah, it's, a, it's an offensive foul kp have possession of the basketball their timeout call timeout so KP and Cosphere decide to talk it over. I mean, some plays. That's a long two by Cospian. I mean, those passes. The, I mean, the basketball that just been played here. It's just uh, for the for the KP side. It's just the exact same way they played yesterday. And they're not get, getting like the shots that they're supposed to get because, like, when they this team is just playing like the same way, and you meet a team that plays some good defense on you, you won't be able to like you won't be able to like play effectively and well. So, that's one thing that I feel is just it's just coming out. I mean, just but just hopefully this team just tries decides to like um, turn it around because man, it's it's not looking good at all. Yeah, the stats statistically. Statistically, we're pretty good, but when you look at the way, like the game is just panning out, it's not a good. It's not a good look at all. Yeah, they've resumed. KPA have KPA have that bucket that they so desperately need. They have to score like that bucket that that bucket that they desperately need, man. It's 
They need to play some good defense. Rebound KPA. They have it. Five point game. But this game is just too close. And for the looks of it, like this Cospian team, if they continue playing like this, this game can be this side this game can be so close. Yeah. KPA capitalized inside. Anthony, number four, he goes inside. He, he, was a, he dropped a double-double yesterday. And hopefully he just replicates the same performance today. But today is much different because the difference is just... The defense that is being played against KP is just different. Uh, the ball tries to ricochet inside for the mid-range. Kospian won't go. No good. Seven-point game. Joe finds the corner three. No good. Rebound. And for again for three. Splash. Number 14. He knocks it down. Ten point the game. Ten point game. And Kospian are going to the line, so it's yeah, it's crazy. How the game can just shift like the three just bailed KP out. This game was like really, really, really close. Then from deep, you could see like that short, those tough, tough layups in there below the rim just spacing out the just making the game like far away but anthony he goes in with those tough inside layoffs and that three just to seal the deal and just add on to that lead 10 point game but when i look at this game i just i just think like KP need to find a way to have some consistent offense because sometimes you're just finding like their physicality is what's bailing them out a lot. And this is not something that you're supposed to rely on like a lot of times. You're supposed to find a way to be able to um, have good scoring options that can be able to do that instead of like playing like, okay, just freestyle. You're supposed to have like a good scheme in there you have a good scheme in there when you're playing to enable you to at least um, manufacture the best shot because sometimes I feel like and even I see like a lot of situations where like they play not the greatest but they're able to win those basketball games like yesterday was one of those cases and today they're able to um, get those points they're, they're not able to get those points that they need to get and uh, End of the second, KPA 32, course PN 24. And um, it's this is, one, this is one thing that I saw. Like, well, I mean, keep I mean, KPA need to find a way to get like some consistent good offense and manufacture the best shot, not necessarily uh, like going through. Uh, being very very schematic like a lot a lot of schemes but having like a good like um hierarchy on who is supposed to score the basketball is it are you working the post are you working from deep are you working um are you, how are you working with the ball so those are the things that uh they need to really really look at and so they can be able to like win in the best way so that that's Hold on, hold on for, hold on a bit. Man, uh, those are just one of those are a couple of things I've seen like recurrent. Just uh, just doing some playbacks in there. And uh, but this game is keep this game is up for the taking. KP are going to win this game. 
no doubt. No doubt they're going to win this game. But the way like they've been, you know, turning over the ball has has is actually pretty alarming, especially for a team that um is set to go to the BAL. But statistically, if you check out the star sheet, uh, KP leading in re total rebounds, eighteen defensive, eleven. Offensive boards is actually pretty good for those second chance points. As you can see from the graph, uh, starting of the second was actually pretty pretty uh, slow, especially for especially for the KPA side because they're not able to get the points up until like the five minute until like the three and at the three minute mark that's not able to like score, which is actually pretty surprising. But um, at the end. At the end of the quarter, like the final two minutes, they were able to like uh, manufacture two layups and one three. Twenty-two percent from deep, thirty-five percent on two-point field goals, twenty percent from the field. Um, struggling with nine fouls, they have two blocks, thirteen turnovers. If you have a lot of turnovers, that means not taking care of the basketball. Four assists and seven steals. Biggest lead by KPA is 10. Best scoring run, 7 and 0. Three lead changes. Times leading in this game is 16 30. Onto the box score, you can also see like how this team, how these players performed. Eugene, three, 13 minutes played, 3 points. Anthony, uh, 5 minutes played. He hasn't even played a lot, but he has been very productive with the minutes that he has played in. In the, in the first half, he's only played 5 minutes. In 20 minutes, only play five, five forty-five, six points, hundred percent from the shooting from the field. His shots have been inside, so that explains like how he shot three or three. Or Carl, 14 minutes played, one point. This is a guy that uh, was on the verge of like upsetting the City Oilers, coming back down three-one, but it didn't happen. But yesterday he had a good, he had a game like. Where he was able to like you know rack up the points, but uh, today he has just had an off game. He has one point, only one point, zero percent shooting from the field on one attempt. He has not made a three. You don't need to make a three, and he's only and that one point is from the line. That is only one point from the line. So yeah, it's crazy, man. Then he has eight rebounds, one assist, plus one for plus six. Tony, nine minutes played, six points, 22% shooting from the field, four rebounds, one defensive one defensive rebound, three offensive. He's actually, actually a guy that um, he knocked down, he was able to knock down two out of eight threes. Out of eight attempts from deep, he only knocked down two. So you need to work on that, Ken Washira. 10 minutes played, um, 6 points, 1 of 10 shooting. He's a, had a, an abysmal shooting I, shooting in the first. On 2-point field goals, he's, not, he's yet to make a sh mid-range shot. And some of the shots that he was making were just bad shots. All of them. From deep, only one shot. And 3 of 3 from the line. So 2 rebounds, 1 assist, 1 turnover. Eugene Nadira had three, three turnovers, two steals, three points. Main primary ball handler, you know, having like three turnovers like that, not a good look. Dennis Adul, 9.54 minutes played, two points. I mean, not much, three rebounds, two turnovers, one personal foul, one block. Stuma Kemba, six minutes, 6.55 played, nothing in the star sheets scoring-wise. And the rebounds, two rebounds, one assist, one turnover. And uh, I mean, Franklin, Mundi Mayotti, and we just are yet to play. So to, to log to log some minutes. And um, 
the KP are just not looking, they're not looking like a cohesive unit today. I can say, like, despite even them, like, leading, they have to find a way to, like, um, manufacture a good shot. Because some of the shots that they were taking, especially down the stretch, were not the greatest shots. They're not the greatest shots that um, they are comfortable in taking them. You're know, looking at... Um, you look at made and shots for KPA in the first. You put all shots in here. You can see that not they they were settling a lot from deep, especially in the first quarter, but not as they are they are settling a lot. They're committing like a lot of resources from deep, and that's what you can see. Um, their performance wasn't the greatest inside as they were able to like um generate nine points from the from deep and three points inside but they but mid-range wise they were able to like you know convert but in the second you could see they shifted a bit and they were trying to score inside where they were able to score inside but even with the commitment from deep that they tried to you know um score it just didn't work. It just it just wasn't working. It's funny. I'm seeing Tony Terrell Town said this is a picture of Joe Byron. I don't know what's going on here, but indeed FIBA needs to fix that. This man was just shooting. Ken Oshira. <laughs> Ken Oshira, he wasn't able to make that. I don't know why Toby's picture is here. That's uh, that. Then Victor Dento missed. He missed that three. Terrell Townsend again. He has a total of eight threes that he attempted. He attempted eight threes, only scored two. Inside, we have Anthony. Anthony was working the ball inside. With Lowman, he worked the ball inside as well. I feel like, yeah, Anthony again, because this, he had made, he made two. So you could see, like, scoring-wise in the second wasn't the greatest. And indeed, it's something that they need to work on. If you look at all the all the shots that they were scoring, like, they're not generating the best shot, especially from deep. I feel like uh, they need to find a way, moving forward, not even on this game, like, moving forward, they need to find a way to, like, be able to commit, generate consistent offense. That's going to be beneficial, especially... Especially when they meet like teams that can have the ability to offset their power. What if the, my fear was if they met a team that uh, plays smart and plays like uh, you know and plays to like their weakness, the KP's weakness weaknesses, they would get such a performance like today. Despite the fact that KP is on top, you can see a situation where KP are kind of struggling in getting their offense, and hopefully they'll be able to mitigate that. Uh, moving forward this in the second half because I mean it's it's something that is required it's something that they need to do still at the still have half time but I mean even even looking at um even looking at the scores can like kind of kind of deceive you but when you check out the footage, you'll see like a lot of shots that they are taking on. No, not the greatest shots, but I'm pretty sure I'm pretty optimistic they can be able to turn it around in the second. They're just warming up. And hold on for a second.
Well, I'm back. So as KPA resumes, hopefully they'll be able to like um fix some of the holes they have offensively. Uh this game is pretty close. Game only decided by eight points and a lot of basketball, 20 minutes of basketball yet to be played. So a lot of things can happen in the second half. So but I'm keen to like see what KP are gonna do in the second half. Because sometimes I feel like the second half is where like games are decided. And if you're not careful, if you're playing, if you're if you're not careful in how you play in the second, you might end up conceding that game, and that's not something that uh, KPA would want to happen. So, starting off strong and finishing off strong is necessary. So, having a situation where they're able to do that will be very adequate in this situation. But we are here to see. We had to see um second half second second half of basketball. Well, about to start the second half. So, of course, start the third quarter. And I'm kind of optimistic to see, like, I'm um, optimistic in seeing how this team is going to fare. Because them, you know, having a good game is necessary, KPA. That's the KPS side because they have all the tools that they need in there. And hopefully um, some guys can be able to like get some minutes. There's a quick graphic on the screen. And third quarter of basketball underway. KP have possession to Makamba on the ball. Mayoti checked in. Okal, he has the ball. He played heavy minutes, but he had a very abysmal first quarter, first half with only one point. He's not able to get the shots that he was getting yesterday. Hopefully for the team's sake, he's able to even get at least 15 points in this in this half. And a mid-range shot to kick off the third by Kospian. KPA, their position of the basketball, looking for that three ball. Knock down the tough shot, tough down, tough shot knockdown for KPA. KPA, at least they have got that three. The offensive foul. Ah, it's a defensive foul. It's a defense or offense. Ah, uh, it's a foul on KPA. Looked like an offensive foul. I don't, I don't know why. For some reason. Then we have Cosby, and they have possession of the basketball. Two minutes played. Spin move. That was a tough contest. Shot didn't go in. So keep here, they're pushing the ball. They need to like set up the offense adequately. Mayoti working inside, gives it to Okal, Odendo. Stuma Kemba, he has the ball. Odendo looking for that three. No good. Rebound taken away by Kospian. And kaboom. So you can see like 
um, that shot by Cospian did no good. Mayotti with the rebound. So KP just walking. They're just what are they doing? Like their offense is just it's just crazy. Like the way they're setting up offensively. I'm not sure what KP are doing here. Because they need to find out they need to find a way to at least um get some consistent offense, not able to do that. Mid-range shot by Okal, no good. His defense, hope he doesn't foul a lot. Mid-range shot by Cospian goes in. Cutting the deficit. Now it's a seven-point game. 35 KPA, Cospian, 28. Mary has the ball, so it's an offensive foul. Raf just whistle, whistle offensive foul is just, just like, come on now. You cannot let this thing happen. No way. So, um, oh yeah, feel free to um, can join the live stream on that link and uh, I will put you on the panel so you just talk about this game. So, uh, KPA, they're just pushing the ball up and Kenoshino for three, won't go. Mayoti gets that rebound in there and it's a turnover. It's a Dendo turnover. So McEnvey picks up the guy from way half court. Or Cospian. Cospian, they have possession. If they're able to like time in their shots pretty well, they'll be able to like at least uh, be able to get up on them points. Which is actually what they need to do. But for KP, the Nets need to play some good defense in there so that they can be able to at least uh, stop that offense that that uh, Cospian are putting up and made layup Cospian cut the lead cut the deficit to five points and they're really really guarding KPA with like a three and a layup they can be able to tie it up shot by Stumakamba no good KPA fighting for the ball and also Cospian And it was a near turnover by the Cospian side, but able to retain that ball. Cospian have ball inbound, inbounds pass. Koja checked in. Almost crossed him there for from downtown. Cospian, they have they have the offensive board thinking of the three won't go mid-range shot fighting for that ball but i mean kp are just looking sloppy especially from from the from defensive rebounds they're not able to like get them it's actually one of those things that is making them like not be able to um execute uh, defensively not even offensively defensively Another buffed up bad shot. Cospian attacking on offense. They don't have numbers, but a foul. Foul has been called. Like one thing that I kept mentioning is like some of those fouls that um some teams in the K in, K in KBF like get away with, they really, really struggle, especially when it comes to like international assignments. Like with FIBA. So I'm saying a situation where these teams are not able to like play to play well and play to their strengths. And those like aimless fouls that they keep committing, they are the reason why they're not able to 
do anything significant, especially, and even show off like how good they are on these international assignments. So you can see, uh, those are that's one made shot from the line, one missed one. Lead cut to four points by Cospian. Still, uh, 15 minutes left to play. And some miss shot. Anthony, he has the ball. KP have possessions to Makemba. He has the ball. Pushing the ball inside. Anthony, he gets the ball. Walks inside. He has been actually on the consistent scoring options from in the interior. And him having a good game is necessary to at least cut deficit. Cosfian, they are just attacking inside, getting into the teeth of their defense. Still a four point game. This is anyone ga anyone's game here. KP are just on the verge of blowing that at eight to ten point lead that they had. Defense, very good defense by Cospian. Going into the other side. Trying to draw fouls. No good. From downtown. No good. Rebound. Cospian. Tough, tough reverse layup. No good. There is a whistle. A whistle has been. Two point game, cost PM 35, KP 37. Two point game. I think as a rule as a goaltend. You Joe, he's checked in. Foul is called. KP still have possession of the basketball. Hopefully they don't blow that they don't blow it because the way Cospian are playing defensively you know, they have been showing up pretty good you draw from downtown hits the bar hits front iron won't go their offense is just freestyle playing to the perimeter and an and one and one play by Ken Ashira just to bail them out when they were just bleeding. So he needs just to make that shot from the line to to stretch out the lead to at least five points. And he may he wasn't able to make it. It's a four point game. Oh my god. Again. Cospian again. Strike inside. Those high percentage shots. You're just trying to lose his defender. Ball deflected. Very good defense. Cospian. Very good defense by that team. Oh, yeah, they're just playing some good D in there. It is in that possession with the basketball. It's a turnover. Easy points to tie up the game. Cause PN tie up the game. I mean, that was just a sloppy, like, out of bounds play by KPA. Don't know what they were doing there, but they need to at least find a way to, like, um, generate some good, uh, smart plays with the players that they have on the roster. Ken Oshira. He gets fouled on the three. I don't know why they fouled him like that, especially from the three. So he has a chance to like shoot three. Three free throws lining up. But this game is just too close to call. 
very close. Coming out of a situation where, like, this is this is this is a game that this is a game that you know KP had in their finger, but those seventeen turnovers have made them be in this position where the coach Pian has tied up the game. The the five assists not adequate enough. Uh, one steal shy from tying Kospian, eight steals, and tying Kospian in fouls in thirteen fouls. So despite even leading the like leading the game for 20, 23 minutes, still offensively not the greatest. And I mean Kospian forty eight percent shooting from two point field goals. They're yet to make a single three. They're just working all their balls. They're just working them inside. All of them. Statistically, Ken Oshira, 15 minutes played, 8 points. 15% shooting from the field. I mean, it's been abysmal, especially from his especially from his side. 9 points. 2 of 13 shooting. 1 of 5 from 2 point field goals. 1 of 8 from deep. And he can be able to change it up. Because he's going to the line. Toyo Townsend, nine points. Kenosha makes that free throw. He's actually necessary. He needs to make that free throw in there. He breaks that second free throw. But this game is just too close, and I feel like KP have just let this game slide them. So Kenosha, two out of three field, two out of three free throws made and Cospian tied it ties it up on the other end like I'm telling you like there's a certain way like they play turnover you Joe gives up the ball steal easy points and you can see Cospian have just grabbed the lead Cospian just grabbed the lead man you're just trying to, you know, work the ball. Another turnover, a costly turnover. And Cospian just are running away with it. Oh, my God. It's just... Now they're up. Cospian are up four. You'd call a timeout. Nah, it's a foul. It's about time KP just call a timeout because, man... My guys are just bleeding in there. KP, I'm not able to manufacture like consistent offense. Nice jump hook. Can't believe this game just get, got tied. Got tied at some point. KPA, they have the rebound. Ujo grabbed it, pushing the ball up front. Carl going in strong, and he ties up the game. I mean, we just set up, we're just being set for a very entertaining, entertaining matchup. Cospian fires back again. Like they're really, really, you know. Testing, testing KP a lot, and you can see, and a very, oh my god, fast-paced offense, transition offense that KP tried to play, Cospian are just executing it pretty well, 49 Cospian, 45 KP, I mean, Kali gets the ball up, Kenoshira from deep, he knocks it down. One point game. Cos PN 49. KPA 48. You cannot show you that big time three pointer just to erase that four point lead. Now it's a one point lead. It's anyone's game. Almost a turnover. Ah, uh, it's a turnover on the other end. Is it? Oh my god, it's just entertaining. What a way to what a way to end the third. Only 45 seconds. 45.6 seconds left in the third. This game is just much more entertaining. 
Cospn 49, KPA 48, and just um, the unrelenting um, gameplay, like a strategy that Cospn have, like it's really, really making like KPA work for those points. Koja, he misses that. He tried to work the ball inside. He has not had his greatest game. Very good player, but the output not there. Working the ball inside to Anthony. No good. Cospian from three. Won't go. Rebound taken by KPA. Nine seconds, eight seconds left. Ken Oshiro from downtown. Uh, no, wasn't able to make it. It's a foul. Foul is called. Two shots. Cospian two shots. They have the uh, they have now the ability to go up with a three point lead if they make both shots. First free throw made. Cospian fifty. Then the other free throw made. Fifty one. Now they are up three points. And almost a turnover. A heave to end the third. Cospian 51, KPA 48. Cospian have grabbed the lead from KPA. And uh, we just set, set up for a very entertaining fourth quarter. What kind of basketball? Tell me this of a fourth quarter left. And both teams are just uh, just fighting on the. They're just they're, you're just seeing the unrelenting unrelenting fight that both teams have. Statistically, KPA forty total rebounds. They haven't shot the greatest. They've shot thirty percent from the field. Cospian thirty six. Cospian they have led four lead changes in this game. The I mean it's just it's just been it's just been a crazy third quarter. I, was ex I can't say that I was expecting this game to be that exciting. I thought that KPO was just going to come in and lead this game with a 10-point margin throughout the whole game. But if you look at the way both teams have come out, it's just a grit and grind game. Like Both teams are just you know, fighting to get possession of the basketball. Those costly turnovers, especially by the KPA side's backcourt and some of their forwards, has led them to this point being down three points heading into the fourth and um set we're being set up for a very interesting fourth quarter our usual suspects in this game got ken oshira 18 minutes played 13 points the only playing kp who has double digit scoring three of 15 shooting that's 20 percent shooting 105 from two point field goals that's 20 percent 20 percent from deep and 71% from the line. Actually, his shooting from the line has made them shoot. They have, he has made like the free throw percentage to increase. The KPA side, 71% shooting from the field. Okal Karanga, 24 minutes played. Actually, out of all the players that have played heavy minutes, it's Okal Karanga that has played the most minutes has not been that effective. But uh, scoring wise, but from the line, from the line, he's only shot, uh, he's only made one free throw. But defensively, on rebounds, you can see nine rebounds, two assists in there. And we're set up to get into this next quarter, the final fourth, quite final quarter. Anthony, eight points, Wade, six points, I mean, Okal, five points, Toril, Tony, Terrell, Townsend, nine, and uh. Fourth quarter of basketball just kicked off. Fourth quarter of basketball just kicked off. And this is actually a much more entertaining game than I had anticipated. I thought that KPI is just going to repeat like the game that they had yesterday. They're just going to be a repeat of that. But 
man, it's, it's just been just been amazing all across the board. All across the board has just been amazing, amazing, the amazing. <laughs> but anyway, KPA with that. I mean, can I show you that floater? You try that floater again. No good. Cospian again fighting inside. No good. KP need to find a way not only to like grab the lead but at least create like a, some space and make the game not close because they have blown away a lead that they will have maintained but because of like those costly turnovers it has made them it has led them to this point it's not a point where they need to be so hopefully they will be able to turn it around it is necessary. You need to find a way to turn it around. KP have possession. Acrobatic pass. Fans cannot show from downtown. No good. I mean, it's just been offensively an untenable offense, like on the KP side. Not not a good look at all. I mean, oh man, KP. At least they're able to cut the deficit. Now it's fifty-one fifty. That huge bucket that was required. Cospian from downtown. Offensive rebound. Foul drawn. Two free throws to be made. We want to space out this game for the Cospian side. Free throw. Missed the first free throw. Missed the, well, made the second out of body missed the way it has ricocheted outside but he's been able to like make that free throw so kpa have possession of the basketball so we're just waiting to see um what type of offense they're going to run especially to close out this game and looking at the way like shooting wise not seeing like kpa generating one of the best shots but still, they have possession of the basketball. It's a turnover. Yujo turned over the ball. Kicking it out for three. And it's a made three-pointer by Cospian. Bumping their lead up by five points. So, so KPN need to find a way to at least, at least manufacture a good shot. Because it's stagnant. Look at the offense. The offense is just, there are no players are moving. Turnover, another easy layup by Cospian, and up seven. 57 Cospian, 50 KPA. They believe they should call a timeout. They should call a timeout. A timeout call, timeout call. I mean, this is pretty untenable. You could see, like, from the tough mid ranger that was made by KPA, that was very much inside. Um, Cospian just came in those that dagger three, that dagger three that was hit, turn transition points from a turnover. They generated like four points from turnovers, two buckets from turnovers. So it's been it's actually a very like uh, tough sport that KP are in right now because if they will, they will, they will, if they're able to like at least uh, gather and be able to like uh, create a good. A stonewall defense and work as a string defensively. They'll be able to like um, cut the deficit in there, but we just wait. We just have to wait and see what the coaching staff have lined up. 
because you only have seven minutes in the fourth and keep here down seven and from the looks of it if their back court are not able to take care of the basketball and their front court are unable to generate those points inside the paint we're done we're done here so it's up to keep here to find a way to like change that offense is just stagnant may missed three-point attempt by victor a huge crossover would have dropped him my god that was actually a very <laughs> that was actually pretty if you will have dropped man it would be crazy highlight play three-pointer no good rebound by kpa and trying to look for like Koji dennis in there go to ken Oshira from downtown mid bricks it huge huge recovery play by kpa passing the ball inside blocked contested very tough contested shots man i mean because they're just contesting every single thing that kpa is just you know throwing in there and a quick assist down low and a layup i mean come on 59 cost me and they've just had a bucket it's just untenable Come on now. This is crazy. 542 remaining in the fourth. KPA down nine. Yesterday's game, it was a game that KPA dominated 120 to 37. <laughs> but this game has just been all tables have turned because like those bad habits that they have generated, like through through the through the games that have been playing not only in, in our borders but also outside a bit i mean it's it's it's, it's not a good look a few changes of kpa core just checked in KP have possession of the basketball. Victor Dendo inbound with the ball. Turnover again. Pushing the play. Turnover on the Cospian side, which is great. A good steal. Stuma Kemba with that with that defensive recovery. And Victor Dendo. Travel. Turnover. We just has checked in. No, he hasn't logged a lot of minutes. They should have gone to him. And a huge, huge, like, you see how Cospian are moving without the basketball. Every possession, you could see, like, even the assists. Passing and screen. Passing and screen action. Pass deflected. I mean, Stuma Kemba's pass just got deflected, and my God, it's just been that type of game. It's just been that type of game, man. I mean, they need to find a way to turn it around. Turnover, turnover, Cospian's turnover. KP need to find a way to manufacture at least two threes, two points from three, like two buckets from threes. So I can be able to at least, you know, cut that deficit and make the game close at close distance. But from mid, Okal scores it. Gets the get those get gets those buckets. Yeah, it's, it's 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 insane, man.
Anthony with a rebound, KPA pushing the ball. Sumakamba for three, knocks it down. Making the game close. A three. Three attempted. No good. I just can feel like Ospian are going to concede some points here. It's supposed to be a four point game. Three. A tap in. Cannot defend that. Anthony, he has the ball in there. Three by Widgers, and it's good. Why don't they? Why didn't they go to this guy like earlier? I don't know why he didn't get like the you know minutes in there, especially to start off like the second half or even the second quarter. I don't know why they didn't go to him because he has actually a very consistent option. He has knocked down the three. That they that the KPA side so desperately needed. Falco, two minutes two fifty seven left in the game in regulation, and of course Piena up. Yeah, up five man. Needs generator three. Like they're on widgets, give widgets the ball, he's hot. But you should give him at the three. Give him at the three. Me, Anthony for mid range, and he banks it in. Three point game. Need to play some good D in there. Not concede those points. Don't concede threes. Almost broke his ankle. Rebound by KPA. Need to manufacture a three. Or, or a layup and a foul. A foul layup. And Sumakemba, he turns over the ball. And a foul. And those assists are just really, really killing us. At least those two made threes. I've been able to cut that deficit by Widgers. Widgers made that three. Stumakema made that three. So it's been easy. They should have started Widgers like early in the second half because these guys are very reliable scoring option down the stretch. Anthony banked that mid ranger. Made free throw. Both perfect at the line by Cospian. I mean, come on now.
We have one minute left. And Okal is not able to make that. Need a three. Yujo for three. Missed it. Kospian defensive rebound. They've got numbers if they finish this break pretty well. And foul. Foul called. Fifty two seconds left. Fifty one and hits back iron. Turnover by the Cospian side. This is a five point game with a little to a minute left in regulation. Three point game. Okal made that. Is anyone's game? Needs to draw a foul or run out the clock. The only two options you draw the foul or run out the clock. Draw the foul. Foul by KPA. I believe he's there to the line. Made, made free throw, and I feel like that should do it. Like, sixty-four cost PN KPA sixty. This just game. This game is just KPS to lose. <laughs> they had all the opportunities to win, but because of those costly turnovers down the stretch, they lost it. And um, less than 20 seconds left in the game. I feel like this game is just all but over. Unless KP just pull off a miracle and able to knock down a three and a quick layup and a steal, a, one, a, a quick three, and I get a stop on the other end. That's the only way that we'll go to win this game. But I'll just have to wait and see. Let's see what they're going to do in such a close game situation. We just for three. Won't go. 17 seconds left. And foul. Why would you foul with 15 seconds left and you're trying to like get those shots up so that you can be able to get the game close? It's just insane. Yeah. 
the, the name of the right one about the fight that he had with George Foreman mm -hmm. uh, here in Atlanta. Oh. 15 seconds left. Don't foul. And another foul. Because Fiona just going to the line to finish the game. Cross PN 65, KPA 60. Made free throw, six point game. Eight seconds left. You just turns it over. Oh my God. Talk about. Talk about a meltdown. Talk about a meltdown by KPA. Total meltdown. A total meltdown and capitulation performance by KPA. One point they had the lead. Game ended. End of regulation. See I mean cost PN sixty six KPA sixty. It's just been that type of game. I mean crazy. It's just been that type of game. Uh game conceded can even check like the this game top performers the key on the, the kpa side only had two players scoring 10 points or more it's been a, an abysmal performance especially for the guys who played well yesterday against like um against they played against the weak team and able to drop those career highs when you play against a team that has the ability of set your power, you lose. Victor Odendo, he played 18 minutes, 0 points, 0 for 5 from the field. 7 turnovers, 3 personal fouls. Smart cardio. Okal Koranga, 11 rebounds, 2 assists, 7 points. The guy that played heavy minutes, 0 production on offense. Anthony. 10 points, 17 minutes played, 62% shooting from the field. I mean, um, Eugene Adera, he had a meltdown, especially with that uh, layup that he wanted to so get in eight seconds left. Couldn't able to get it. 20 minutes played, three points, 25% shooting from the field, seven turnovers. Him and Victor Dendo are tied at seven turnovers. So out of the total turnovers that the team suffered, Combined, they had 14 turnovers. So if you take the total turnovers, 27, and you combine Odendo's and Adera's turnovers, that's 14. So you can see they turned over the ball double the times that other players turned over, turned over the ball in the game. So uh, despite even them winning the rebounds, they weren't able to close out the game. They didn't have enough smart plays. Um, I mean, it was just it was just overall an overall sad performance. 32% shooting and 30% shooting from both teams respectively it was not the addict it was also the best shooting night shooting day but he's got the job done 27 fouls for the kpa side at 21 27 turnovers 21 fouls three blocks i mean four lead changes this game was actually pretty entertaining especially if you're supporting both teams or one of the both teams because this goes this goes to show you like um as you step up in in as you step up and you meet other teams that know how to play and upset your power especially mid-game adjustments you're going to lose that and concede that game so very good execution on offense 
and um, for the Cospian side. And um, I mean, that's all I have to say about this. I will try to see if I can come up with another video idea down the stretch, be able to like talk about things. And um, with that one, I mean, it's just a very upsetting performance. This is a game that was so winnable, and uh, Kipia just choked it away. I mean, sick this game, the game at some point they led, and they just choked it away, and it was just so hard to watch it. And um, I will just see you guys in the next one. Peace out.